What's up? So from time to time, companies make decisions in order to grow or kind of revamp or redo their business model or whatever you want to call it. I'm not getting all that technical with it. But in this case, we're making some changes and we're going to have an equipment sale uh, and replace it with uh, some different equipment. Uh, that I've learned about and uh, want to proceed in uh, using. So what we're going to do is uh, on our website, our company website, gciturfservices.com or wegrowumo.com, uh, there will be a link at the top or tab at the top called Equipment for Sale or just Equipment. And you can click on that, go down, it tells you all the, uh, the pieces that will be for sale uh, throughout the winter, I'll be adding more. Uh, and of course, this is uh, folks that are outside of North Carolina, uh, Greensboro, Piedmont Triad, this might be a little more difficult for you unless you want to travel. I'm not going to do any shipping whatsoever. I want to be very clear on that. This is local pickup only. You can come to my facility, pick up the equipment from me, and pay me on the spot. That's the absolute only way I'm going to do this. So please don't ask to do it any other way. Um, we got several pieces. I just want to show you a quick uh, run around. I'm not going to go into detail in anything. The detail will be on the website once this page is created. Uh, uh, we're going to let go of the gator. Yep, yep, yep. It's a very, very fine piece. It's basically, <coughs> excuse me, it's basically brand spanking new uh, that's the reason we're letting go of this piece because we never use it it's uh absolutely oh man they took the key out i was gonna crank it for you fires right up on the spot it's the uh 825i fuel injected uh it's got all these really fancy light bars it will light up the road or sky uh, glass cab on it, which is very, very nice. Hydraulic dump. It's got all the, the extra features, the rub rails, the bed liner, uh, the nice wheels, four wheel drive, the whole nine yards. Turf Tech is what this thing is. Turf Tech, it's got a big Honda engine on it. We have primarily used it for pushing snow on sidewalks. It does an incredible job. You, it's all hydraulic. It will push the biggest piles of snow you've ever seen. Now, along with this turf tech comes this piece over here. And this is why we're selling it. As you can look at it, look at how dusty and how yucky it looks. But if you clean it up, it shines like a brand new penny because it is brand new. Uh, it's like a Harley rake type deal for use for grading yards and that kind of thing. And it does a fairly well, a fairly good job as long as it's not heavy duty grade work. It's not a heavy duty grader. I think it's like 36 inches wide maybe. And it does a really good job. Uh, the Z plugs that you'll see here in a second, here are the spray systems for it. You just simply take the plugger off, you hook the uh, spray tank up, plug it in, and now you have a sprayer with a boom sprayer along with a hose. For you grasshopper guys, if anybody wants a grasshopper cab, uh, uh, to my knowledge, this fits pretty much any of the grasshoppers uh, available. We've had this for about maybe two years, uh, used it a handful of times. I've got it wired up. It's got all these nice LED lights up here. It's super bright. It's got a strobe light, got LEDs in the back. Uh, we use this chain hoist to pick it up and set it on the tractor and it bolts right down. And uh, someone with a diesel uh, or gas that may have the broom attachment that does sidewalks, this would come in on real handy, keeping your operator uh, dry. This is the hydraulic plow for a grasshopper uh, machine. It actually has the joystick included with it. Uh, where's the joystick at? Here we go. Here's the joystick. 
Here's the joystick right here that you operate it with. You just sit in the seat and it's all hydraulic. It angles left and right and goes up and down 48 inches wide. So here are some Xmark, two Xmark uh, slice cedar, slit cedar, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. They got the, they got the big, uh, what are they, Subaru engines on them. Uh, both of these machines probably have, there's no hour meter on them, but they probably have, I'm just guessing here, less than 200 hours, probably. I would say the, uh, the one here that has the emblem on it probably has less than 100 hours or 100 or less, somewhere in that. This one, the only thing we've had to replace is the pull rope assembly, and that's why it doesn't have the sticker. It's probably got closer to 200 hours on it. Uh, Z plugs, we got two of these that we're gonna sell. Uh, an incredible machine. And I know, why are you selling it if it's so incredible? Well, uh, we've just got a different way we're going, and that's uh, we're not gonna get into any detail on that. Uh, one machine has 123 hours, and one machine has 313 hours. So both machines are in exceptional condition. Uh, obviously one is a little bit newer, it's a year newer than this one. Uh, and these are the ones I showed you the sprayer. You simply unhook this stuff right here and take the plugger off and you put your plugger on and you bolt the spray bar here and the spray bar just plugs into the tank and then uh here's here's your plug in right here you just plug it in and then you cut you can cut the sprayer on and off from the driver's seat like so so two z plugs both have the hopper on them uh so you can spread grass seed fertilizer whatever um we have two ryan walk behind pluggers uh like you know the old the old style that you, you pull that thing up and go and then you push it down like so and that's when you start plugging uh, i got two of those one with a honda engine one with a briggs and stratton engine uh here is the grasshopper tractor that we're going to sell it's a 727k electronic fuel injection it has 441 hours on it. Great machine. Uh, you can put a mower deck on it. You see the aerovator head on the front. The aerovator head does not go with this machine. Uh, you can put a mower deck on it. You can pick up that plow over there that we talked about and uh, you can put it on here and use it for snow. You can get by the cab with it and put the cab on it if you want to. Um, totally up to you or you can just buy the tractor Stick a mower deck on it, and you got a, a nice mower. Um, here's an X-Mark. Uh, this is their famous stand-on uh, aerator. It's 30 inches wide, hydraulic. She has 363 hours on it. Uh, it's got the Kawasaki engine on it. Uh, focus. Got the Kawasaki engine on it, and uh, great machine. We're just, uh, you know, like I said, all this stuff is in exceptional condition. Uh, we take very, very good care of our equipment. Uh, they're serviced every 50 or 100 hours, depending on what the machine is and what the manufacturer recommends. Uh, so you will not get any crap from me. Uh, they're all nice here. Oh, here we go. I forgot about this. Now this thing is brand new. And this, I thought I was going to do more dethatching than I actually do. So this was my dumb purchase. Uh, this machine is about $5,500. It's very expensive. It's the Ryan Mattaway. It is a dethatcher. Uh, I don't know if you can put a seed box on it or what. I do know that it's very, very nice. It does an exceptional job at dethatching. And someone that dethatches, uh, when you see the price, you're gonna be blown away because I'm just, 
I'm gonna lose money like crazy on this, but I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna price it to move it. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sell it for about $2,000 less than what a normal one, would, a new one would go for. It's got a really big Honda engine on it. Uh, it's been sitting in the shop for two years and we went over there, pulled a little bit of gas in the, in the carburetor and it fired up on the third pool. We pulled it outside and washed it, got it nice and clean. But all this, all of it works great. It's got the flail blades up under it. And here's your drive to make it go forward. It's self-propelled. But all of our equipment is highly maintained. Uh, I have a mechanic on site that um, uh, he's a part-time fire, or he's a part-time guy for me, and he's a fireman full-time. And on his days off, that's what he comes. He comes in here and services equipment. And that everything stays greased, everything, the oil's changed, air filters change. Uh, our crews, our employees uh, are not overly rough on equipment. They, they take very good care of it. And you can see by the videos, this video, that you know everything's in really good shape. Everything operates very well. So if you're interested, uh, the contact information will be on this web page uh, i would say in about a week from the time you're watching this video it's november 10th i would say somewhere around the 20th of november we will have the all this information posted on the website and it'll have contact where you can get in, in contact with me you can come get on it and ride it and play with it and look at it and touch it and smell it you can do all that stuff and uh, decide if you want to buy one of these machines or not. And uh, appreciate you watching the video and uh, look forward to hearing from you. All right, so here's one more thing. I forgot about this. Um, this, this was a purchase uh, that I kind of got a little over, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, a little um, over, uh, I don't know. I got a little too excited, I guess would be a way, way to say it. Uh, when I purchased this thing, it's a big salt brine liquid de ice. It's a split tank. You got one tank here, one tank here. Let me back up so you can see it. These are two separate tanks. You can see there's a fuel nozzle and there's a fuel nozzle. 900 gallons. 900 gallons it's 1800 gallons it's made for a big dump truck you back the dump truck in and you undo these pins right here and you just take the dump truck and back under it and it, it's self-loading meaning you don't have to have a piece of equipment to load it and it's got all these spray tips right here goes along here and, you know spray tips there and all this is you can cut this one on or off that one on or off or that one over there on or off so you don't have to cut them on at the same time. And it's got all the, the valves and stuff back here are still intact. To my knowledge, it works. Okay, I haven't hooked this thing up. I bought it and brought it in thinking I was gonna use it. It's been sitting in this spot ever since I bought it about three years ago. And obviously it's doing me no good. Somebody can make a buttload of money with this thing. Uh, it's got your plumbing all the way to the pump. Here's your, here's your holes for the pump right here. So it, you've got to have a pump for it. And then you have to have uh, the electrical part to run to the truck to turn this stuff on and off. It's, this thing is designed to be turned on and off from the driver's seat of the truck. Now you can probably do something and make it work somehow or another, but I, if, if I were going to pursue this, I would probably call these people right here, that sprayer specialties. That's where this thing come from was Iowa. And they can probably sell you the pump you need and the stuff right here and get you going. Uh, this, this thing right here, brand new, is about $16,000. Yep. sixteen grand for this setup. And of course you see why it's a, it's a lot going on here. And, uh, uh, we're probably going to let it go for probably a quarter of that. So, uh, 
probably somewhere around four grand uh, so I can move it. Uh, I need the space up under this shed. I, I need to get it out of my way. So uh, check you later and give me a shout uh, uh, through the website if you're interested in any of this stuff. Um, This thing right here is really going to do good for somebody that sprays a lot of ice milk, uh, de-icer and that kind of thing. Jack, you could probably get into state contracting work with this thing because you can spray the highways with it. So uh, go to the website, uh, www.gciturfservices.com. Uh, at the top of the page, you will see equipment and you just click on that and all these items will be on that one page by the time you've watched this entire video my web guy has got all this posted so it's live it's right below you can go down there and check it out and uh i'll put a link to the web page in the description below and then i'll also put the email address in the description below where you can contact me if you want to come check some of this stuff out thank you